If you've been watching Nick Zometti's channel, you know that he's doing a chessboard and some chess pieces. And I'm going to try and make a pawn out of this. Well, goodness gracious me, well, there's a bit of a giveaway here, purple prawn pawn, um, bit of an idea there. Uh, I wanted to, I just, you know, uh, deal with that, that issue that people have who are beginners at chess. They think they're called prawns rather than pawns. I thought that might make a little bit of a joke out of it. Plus, if you've watched my channel before, you'll see that there's an awful lot of purple floating around. Whether we end up doing that or not remains to be seen. But what I did is I looked up some reference and based on that i did a sketch that's what it looks like uh revolved um into an object well, obviously revolving is really like turning and of course nick zometti's channel is all about turning or it has been uh things are changing he's doing other things which is great you know he's spreading out to all sorts of areas other thing is is quite nice to just look at it shaded without edges and so that's sort of what you know a basic pawn looks like you know my version of one how am i going to prawnify it and i've thought about a number of things um and one thing is to sort of have a sort of prawn shaped extrusion as it were on the pawn so it's kind of like a badge of it or something like that. Or what I'd really like to do is to have it so that this area is kind of like the hat of the prawn. That's all a bit elaborate. And again, you know, um, carving all this area out. I could 3D print it. Obviously, I do 3D printing. But I, I would like to have a go at turning, even though I don't have a lathe. Ha <laughs> ha. Because I think there's ways I can get around that. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the pawn, send that to Nick as part one, because he's desperate, I think, pretty much to get his thing finished. And if and when I can solve the problem of how to make a kind of fun looking pawn. And again, the shape of a pawn, it's not kind of ideal for, um, for being a pawn, really. Uh, so we'll see how it goes. I'm planning to use this bit of wood. Now, don't know what tree it is, I think. I think it's California lilac, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, it's been chopped off a while. Is it suitable? We'll give it a go and see where, where we end up. Um, what I've done is I've printed out the drawing, um, which basically there's just about enough meat in here, perhaps, to make that. Um, do I have a lathe? No, I don't have a lathe, but that's okay. Um, I'm going to do something with a drill. Uh, don't try this at home, folks. I'm well, has been an interesting few experiments. Um, I have done some quite dangerous stuff, which I'm not happy to carry on doing. I uh, wouldn't recommend. Uh, there are certain saws, you know, if you're using a circular saw, I mean, seriously, it'll take your arm off as soon as look at you. Too close, too dangerous, not happy. Um, because the, what people don't realise is, yeah, it's okay for what you're doing, but it's for what happens after that. And so, um, you know, if, it's, if the wood snatches out of your hand, and it can easily, uh, before you know it, you know, your, your hand's in the machine. So change of plan I, I just think actually rather than trying to knock up a kind of quick and dirty lathe that I'm going to use hand tools oh, uh, a little electric engraver it's kind of like a, a dremel and I'm going to see what I can do and it'll be a kind of a more organic shape it's still based around that you can you can see where I'm kind of going with this it's sort of approaching that so I'll keep that inside and then just see what I can do. This is where we're at now. Gradually revealing some sort of shape. Um, yeah. Let's see how we go. 
long way to go yet. I think I might chop it off here because I don't think I need this sort of handle bit. So, I've finished the pawn. I'm saying the pawn because I don't know if I'm going to ever get around to doing the the purple, uh, what do they call them? The, the purple pawn prawn. No, no, the purple prawn pawn. Um, probably never get around to doing that. But I have done this, which um, hopefully will cut to a beauty shot of. But, yeah, you know, he's, oh, I say he. Yeah, it's a bit of a funny character, isn't he? He's kind of like... Um, I don't know, the snowman meets Mr. Stave Puffed meets Mr. Michelin Man or something like that. Um, yeah, I think I must have got a bit carried away doing the, the carving, but uh, there he is with the, the sort of flying hinges thing uh, on the base. And um, now I've got to send that off to Nick. We've got another funky chess piece in as well. This is from this chap, flying hinges, and it's Carl. Look at this. <laughs> Look at that little face on it. I don't know what's going on there, but it's pretty funky. Magnum. Cheers, Carl.